Whether you need to cite a source or find a piece of information, it can be difficult to identify the source type you're working with. This tutorial will help you determine if a piece of information is from a book, periodical, or a website. Let's first take a look at books, which includes both printed and electronic versions. Books have many unique identifying markers. Books that are collections of essays or other works, like encyclopedias, will often have an editor. Books that have changed and been reprinted will have an edition number. The most important clue that the information type is a book is the inclusion of a publishing city and publisher. Electronic books, or ebooks for short, will often contain publishing information as well. In addition, there usually is a notation that identifies it as an electronic source. This can take the form of a web address, a format type like Kindle or PDF, or even just a word like web in the citation. Periodicals include works that are published in regular intervals like academic journals, magazines, or newspapers. Academic journals will typically contain an article title followed by the name of the original source. Nearly all academic journals will have a volume and issue number. Many academic journals are retrieved from scholarly article databases. However, some academic journals that are published exclusively online may have a web address. Unlike academic journals, magazines may use a full data publication including year, month, and day. Some magazines have volume and issue numbers like academic journals. Newspapers will usually include a full data publication. If the newspaper was published more than once in a day, it could also have an edition notation. Page numbers in printed newspapers are unique in that they often include a letter indicating a section followed by a number. Web sources can include full websites or individual web pages. The biggest clue that your source is a website or a web page is the presence of a web address link. Also, many sites do not have a specific person as an author. Instead, a corporate or an organizational author will be listed. Web pages usually contain the title of an individual page followed by the name of the entire website. If a link to the page is not present, the term web may appear in the citation.